Hey, welcome to another one of my Blended tutorials. And in this one, we're not going to be focusing so much on the sort of like human modeling or the animating side of things. Um, rather, I'm going to be going towards a sort of games engine type thing here. And what I'm going to be doing is, but you can use it for animation as well. Uh, we're going to be making a billboard bush. Now, a billboard bush is a bush that's made out of image planes and they're rotated and scaled randomly, so it sort of looks like a bush. But if you if you got really close to it and you're really pedantic about it, you could probably tell it's just a series of image planes. Uh, but it looks like a bush, and it's good for games, and it's you can also use it for animation as well. So if you want to fill out a scene, um, what we're going to be doing for this is. First of all, you need to get yourself a image plane. Now it's going to be a PNG or a TIFF or a just something or a GIF, and just anything that's got like a sort of alpha channel. So that means if it's got a transparent background. Now I've already made one here. Uh, it's not very good. It's not very good at all. But you can sort of like tell it's uh, sort of like a bush. So yeah. <laughs> And um, this is going to be my bushy wushy, and I'm going to be using this for what I'm going to be doing is just going to be rotating it and scaling it randomly. Uh, I use GIMP to make this. You can pull it off the internet, or you can make your own in Photoshop or Paint, even I think. I don't, know. Uh, don't save, don't save because it's, it's really not worth it. Um, okay, so. First thing you need to do is delete your cube. I killed my companion cube a long time ago, so I'm on to step two, which is to add a plane. So add mesh plane. Uh, what you need to do with this is you need to tab into edit mode. You need to rotate it and rotate it on the y axis, I'm thinking, and maybe 90. That's good. Okay. I'm also going to go into texture mode just so you can see what's going on, and it's it's not two sided. So what I'm going to be do what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into um, uni editor. I always forget that one. I just want to open an image, so open image, and you need to find where you've saved it. I happen to have saved it in something called Pictures, which is full of pictures. So here it is, bushtutorial.tiff. Rather strange name, isn't it? And it should sh show up if you put it in texture mode. Now you can tell it's a little different from what you see here. So I'm just going to rotate this. Rotate X90. Um, minus? No. Rotate X one eighty. No, what was that? R X one eighty. There we go. You'll also notice it's a little bit squashed, so I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Um, Shift C because I've accidentally changed my cursor. So yeah, Shift C centers your cursor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move it up, and I'm also going to scale it. I've got this on scale from medium point, you want it on scale from 3D cursor, so S, Z. That's about right. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, make this show up. Because if I go into, I'm making this for a game engine, for a game engine, but it's the same if you're gonna make it for a render. If it hasn't got a material, it's not gonna show up. So I'm gonna go into Blender Game, and we're done in UV editing. So I'm gonna go back into default. The UVs are saved. UV is just a way that the image is mapped out onto the flat plane. This is really simple because it's literally the same as the image, it's just, well, it's just a bit squashed. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into edit mode, one minute, press face mode, uh, face mode, that's that one there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into object data, 
and it's these things down here, texture face. You want to make it two sided, so it shows up on both sides. Um, you want to make it also uh, alpha. Now there's three types of alpha. There's clip alpha, which is good for games because it's like it's really really simple. All it means is that something is either it's transparent or it's not transparent. Literally as if it was cut out of a knife or something. Now this is good because it runs a lot faster than the other one. And it also means that... Um, yeah, it just runs faster. Um, the other one is normal alpha. That means that if you notice, you can't really tell in this one, but... The difference between clip alpha and normal alpha is that in normal alpha I've sort of got these half transparent leaves so if you get anything that's half transparent or sort of like fuzzy around the edges or you want it to be smoothed uh, you want alpha now the third one the third one is add uh, it's hard to tell what this one does because it's not really for this kind of thing um, add what that does is it means that if you have another one behind it that is going to add onto what you have in front of it so it's good for sort of like holograms or anything that emits light and as you can see that's kind of freaky and also pretty cool I actually like that wow oh, I actually discovered something it's so cool but yeah um, yeah you just, you just want this to be ah yeah, god damn it yeah what was it two sided um, Opaque. I'm gonna make this. I'm just gonna make it clip alpha. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate this. So Shift D, rotate Z, ooh, Control Z, Shift C, because the thingy was off center again. The annoying thing about Blender is if you click somewhere, it moves the cursor there. Now, I'm pressing delete on my numpad to focus on what I've got selected, by the way. Little tip. Now, what I need to do is I need to shift E, press rotate, Z, 90. And what this does is it makes it look sort of 3D. But I also, if you look at it, it's sort of like, and it looks like a kaleidoscope or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press uh, scale along the X minus 1. So now it looks sort of more, I mean it's a little more uniform, actually it doesn't make a difference. Um, the other thing you can do is select all of them, so A, press D, rotate Z, and this time 45 degrees. Sorry, shift D, rotate Z, 45. There we go, so now we've got more sort of like a, fill, a full of bush. The problem with this is that this bush has got uh, I don't know, it's a little bit uniform. So you want to select individual faces, face mode, individual ones, individual planes, um, and just rotate them, scale them, scale them up, scale them down, make them fat, make them thin. Just give them a bit of random variation. So scale that makes them a bit bigger. Um, rotate that. Just do this with all of them, and you should have something that looks a little more, a little bit more natural. That's just a little bit too outgoing. So I'm actually going to slide that a little along. It's more centered. And also scale it back along the x axis. There we go. So that looks a little more natural. Sort of leaning to an edge. Uh, and that should do. And that's. So more bush like now. It's not a very pretty bush, but it's a natural bush. So now if I went into game, start game engine, it looks like a bush. Cheers, the idea. So 
what I'm going to do now is actually I'll show you what clay powerful looks like now well, I'm going to make a material so this is if you want to render it or if you're going to be using GLSL um, image or movie and you want to open your image click pre-multiply that just means that it's sort of like I don't know it optimizes for lighting um, also you want don't want mitmap but you want mitmap Gaussian filter actually you do want mitmap what that does is as it goes further away it makes it less it puts resolution down makes it a smaller picture uh, this makes things run faster you want to use alpha and don't invert alpha it's a bad thing to do calculate you don't want to click calculate calculate is if you had one um, if you just add black instead of alpha channel so you don't want that now that's it so that's your texture made let's make a material so you want new I'm going to call this uh, bush and it's just gonna I'm going to click on base here um, it's going to be a oh, lamp shade is good you don't want specular because this is a bush Bushes aren't shiny. Are they? Face textures and uh, places object basically. Yeah, that's good. Now you want to assign to it your texture that we made. Click show alpha. And when you go back to your material, you should have that. So, your texture is now going to it's going to affect things first thing it's going to affect is actually never forget your image mapping whenever you apply a texture make sure if you've done if you've got some trouble making UVs you want them applied so image mapping nope image sampling nope image done with that colors done with that okay so now I've just got the pre preview here um, you want it to affect the alpha so let's have both open you also want it to affect ah I forgot go back to material go down to your alpha transparency tick transparency Z transparency and make it zero so it's transparent so that means our alpha is added but it's only added from the picture um, also, it's pretty cool if you have it affect your normals. So what that does is it makes it turn GLSL on. You might be able to see it. multi texture GLSL. See? Normal maps. Just turn them down a little. Don't want them too much. that is a little more if you don't have a very high resolution image you don't want your normal maps to be too high resolution to be too much either um, that should be okay and I'm going to start the game engine see what it looks like it looks like exactly as it renders yeah that's cool and let's go back and let's make this alpha select all alpha clip alpha alpha clip alpha alpha clip alpha alpha let's do this real quick alpha alpha So now, when we tab out, it looks a lot more game, start game engine, yeah, see, it looks a bit nicer. And that is how you make a bush.